जी को बधाई है और मैं इस बिल का समर्थन करता हूं ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स डीएम कदर आनंद जी थैंक यू स्पीकर सर फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन द वाटर प्रिवेंशन एंड कंट्रोल पोल्यूशन अमेंडमेंट बिल 2024 सर दिस बिल though it has brought in consistency with the air pollution and water pollution but the normal cultures of the bill the inputs of the bill when you read in uh, on the fine lines it really is a draconian law so initially let me start with i know that the bill is now to apply for himachal pradesh rajasthan and the union territories but i know for sure that this bill is going to be amended or expanded to the other states in india also i'll go by class by class sir so first is about the concern for exemption of the industries so the bill specifies that the central government in consultation with the central pollution control board may accept certain categories of industrial plants from obtaining consent sir when a in, a, in any state whenever they have to start an industry they will first approach the state pollution control board the state pollution control board will look at the possibilities and the feasibilities and the water pollution uh, measures then they will give the consent now they say that the central pollution control board simply can issue an order if at all the government of india proposes to issue a, a pollution certificate to us to a industry which is happening in a state or coming into a state and that causes any mal practices or it causes any pollution discoveries or water pollution who is answerable the state is answerable the public will only walk into the state premises the state uh, uh, the government or the panchayat or whatever with the state authorities and they will be questioned but the central government will keep quiet and they will not interfere into any kind of things so this is a draconian law that says that the central government can issue any kind of a concern to any officers any kind industries without the concern of the state pollution control board this is a very very bad move by this in this act secondly sir the bill also adds the government may issue guidelines for the grant of refusal and cancellation of the consent granted by the state pollution control board if at all a state pollution control board has already given a consent to an industry that police that's a consent can also be cancelled by the, the central pollution control board what is this sir sir where are we going up so the entire india is the entire government the government of uh, the central government is now only acting to crush the state autonomy so any pollution control concerns given by the state after act acting upon all the rules and regulations can be cancelled by the central pollution control board this is a draconian law and the third one the chairman of the board sir the state pollution control boards is a autonomous body that is that is happening or that is existing under by the state authorities now the central uh, uh, pollution control board will come to the state and say that this is how you have to attempt and uh, and uh, appoint a chairman of the board what is this sir so the governor will come he will say who is going to be the vice chancellor or chancellor of a university then the then the next person from the central government will come he will say that this is how you have to be and now even for the pollution control board chairman also the central government is going to come and they are going to tell that this is how you have to appoint the chairman of the, uh, the state pollution control board so this is another draconian law they are taking away all the rights of the states this, and other, another point is that the central uh, uh, the state pollution control board will issue directions immediately restraining the activity which is leading to the discharge of polluting materials in the water body now the uh, whenever there is a mishap in the state the state pollution control board will impose fine or penalty or even imprisonment depending on the crime situation depending on the ha happenings which are uh, the, the the incident now the central pollution control board walks into the, the because of the act the, they walk into the state saying that no hereafter you will not impose any kind of an imprisonment you will not do anything all you can do is only impose a fine of rupees 10000 rupees or to 15 lakh rupees so they are now taking away the punishment uh, category also and and the next point is uh, 
the penalty of the offences under the old act on an off offence which is a punishment not explicitly specified by the punishable with an imprisonment term up to three months or a fine up to ten thousand rupees or both. Sir, whenever there is a whenever whenever something happens in the state that is against the state pollution control board, the, they, they will impose a fine of ten thousand rupees or both or whatever it is. Now again, the central pollution control board is walking into the shoes of the state pollution control board, and they are saying that no, 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 no. We will only pre prescribe what is going to be the provision. You cannot arrest anyone, even if there is a great calamity or whatever has happened. And other things, sir. This bill allows the central government to appoint adjudication officer to determine the penalty of the act. Okay? They are going to appoint adjudication officers to examine what has happened. The officers must be at the level of a joint secretary to the central government or the secretary to the state or the government. Whatever is the role of the state government in appointment of the adjudication officer. The union government, big brother attitude is unwarranted. They step in again and saying that who is going to be the adjudication officer. So now tell me, sir, I am asking this August House, a state is having an auto autonomous activity. The state is autonomous, they are just, just taking care of their own business. But the central is walking into each and every parameter, each and every instances of a state. They are infringing into the autonomy. The entire constitution which is, which is happening is de now demoralized. Sir, the, the cognizance of the forces, this is a very in interesting part of this act. Sir, whenever any fault or whenever malpractice is happening in the in occurrence in the state pollution control board, earlier the officers who were all connected with the with the with the crime will be punished. Now, the new act, which is telling the this August House, they are saying that now the central pollution control board is telling the state or the this August House saying that. If at all there is a crime, if at all there is a fault, it has happened in that pollution control board in granting license or whatever it is, the action will be taken only on the, 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 the chairman of the board where one month of his basic salary will be given. End of the crime. So there is no punishment. Even 10 officers who have jointly have done the crime also, Still, the punishment is going to be the basic salary. Now, I am only asking this August House, sir. Sir, each and every state, running a state is difficult. Each and every state, they are going here and there to bring in investments, bring in funds, and all the things. But the central is infuriating into all the things. Sir, they introduced GST, took away all our money. They, took, they introduced NEET, took away all our autonomy in, uh, in uh, giving medical uh, seats. Dam Safety Bill, National Education Policy, Citizenship Amendment Bill, Three Farm Bill, Multi Corporate Necessity Bill, Criminal Procedure Identification, Electricity Amendment, Delhi Municipality Bill, Indian Medicine Bill, National Medical Commission Bill, Airport Authority Bill, Major Port Authority Bill, Motor Vehicle Bill also. Sir, they are taking away all the rights of the state. Sir, I'll tell you, I'm going, I'm going to conclude very shortly, sir. Please. Sir, our Chief Minister from Tamil Nadu, he is travelling here and there to invite investors to state. I am talking generally for other states also. Each and every Chief Minister of a state, the state a cabinet runs here and there to invite people to come and invest, to start up industries. But if this kind of a bigger brother attitude is there, where they said you can do this, you cannot do this without the state autonomy, then how will the investors walk into the states? It is not possible. Therefore, I want to this August House Please. to recall this, the recall this bill and make amendments such a way that the state authority, the state authority is not questioned. Sir, I will let just only one word I want to complete. In Tamil they used to say, my chief minister always says, Makkaluki Ella Nanmagilum Saivadu, Mani Larsagaldan, Mani Larsidam Irindadan, Andana Tevagilum Makkal Idupar Kraru, Anal. Adarku in the Madhi Arasu Muttukate Podigrade. One final word, sir. If this kind of a big brother attitude is going to continue, then you will lose all the states. Today you may be a big brother, you are very powerful, but tomorrow you may need to sit here. We will sit there. You will all again say face the same opinion. Sir, I will finally conclude with four lines in Tamil. 
போர் லைன் திட்டமல் எய்பவர்களுக்கே காலம் என்று எண்ணிவிடாதே போய் எத்தனை நாள் கை கொடுக்க மறந்து விடாதே ஒரு நாள் இந்த நிலைமை மாறுதல் உண்டு அந்த மாறுதலை செய்வதற்கு தேர்தல் உண்டு நன்றி வணக்கம் ஆனால் மெம்பர் பிளீஸ் சிட் டவுன் சிட் டவுன் थैंक यू सर ஓகே